Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. Today I have a great recipe called seafood egg rolls with lump crab and shrimp and a delicious homemade bang bang sauce right after this. So before I get started with the video, let me show you all the ingredients I'll be using for this recipe. Also, I'm using lump crab and I'm using 2125 shrimp, which is a medium sized shrimp. All right, so right here, I'm gonna take the shrimp and I'm gonna cook them. I'm gonna add a little Old Bay seasoning to them. All right, now that they cook, I'm gonna get started with the, um, the crab and shrimp filling. All right, so right here, I just uh, threw in some mayonnaise, about a half a cup, one egg, some scallions, all right, some diced red peppers, some lemon juice, the juice of uh, half a lemon, about a tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce, Old Bay seasoning to taste, all right, some uh, fresh cracked black pepper. Right here, I'm going in with my favorite hot sauce, which is a garlic hot sauce from Aldi's. And I'm gonna give all that a mix. All right, so we're going in with my lump crab. And I'm gonna gently mix that into the um, to that wet batter. Also, for this recipe, I didn't use breadcrumbs. I used Ritz crackers that I crushed. All right, so right here, I'm chopping up my shrimp. And I'm just doing a nice rough chop, but I want to give them small enough where you know you still feel the chunks of shrimp when you bite into the egg roll. But I didn't want huge chunks in there. All right, I got those chopped up. All right, here I am going in with the uh, rich cracker crumbs, the uh, crushed rich cracker crumbs. And that's why I'm not using salt because the rich crackers already have salt in them. And if you can't get rich, I'm actually using garlic and herb rich crackers. If you can't get those, just use regular rich. And if you don't happen to have rich, most people keep saltines in their house. You can also use saltine crackers. And you just want to get it to the point where if you was to make a ball, it would stay together. Basically what I'm making right here is a recipe for crab cakes, but it's just going inside of an um, egg roll wrapper. And it also has shrimp in it as well. All right, so right here I'm getting my egg roll wrappers. And so I'm putting a generous amount on top of the egg roll wrapper, and then I'm gonna use water. You can use your finger, but I'm using a brush to uh, just brush water around the edges. That's gonna make the egg roll wrapper stick when you when you um, roll it. Yeah, if you've never rolled like a wrap or rolled an um, egg roll before, just you know watch what I'm doing and just take your time doing it. And if you just happen to have some experiences in rolling, if you know what I mean, then you know, <laughs> that helps as well. All right, so here we go. I got all my egg rolls uh, done and wrapped. 
all right and it made a good amount so i had one pound of lump crab meat and about two pounds of uh medium-sized shrimp so right here i'm getting started with that bang bang sauce so i'm going in with some mayo all right some sweet chili sauce and make sure you use a good brand on the sweet chili all right going in with some that aldi hot sauce Actually, you're supposed to use sriracha, but I prefer to use this, and I didn't have the um, sriracha, but it's going to taste uh, just as good. And now I'm going in with some honey. All right, give that a nice mix. There you go, a bang bang sauce recipe. All right, so now into some hot oil, about 325 degrees. I'm going in with those egg rolls. And I'm not gonna overcrowd the pan. So as you can see, they're nice and golden brown. All right, so I'm gonna start removing them from the pan. And if you don't have a drip tray like I have, then or a screen or a rack, then um, I would use like a paper towel or something like that just to collect the grease. All right, and here you go. Seafood egg rolls with crab and shrimp. All right, looking nice and golden brown, nice and crispy. All right, so at this point, the recipe is all done. All right, and this is the part where I start my uh, pleading and begging that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also hit that thumbs up button, share the video, and also let me know of other, um, in, down in the comments of other recipes that you want to see me make. Once again, you can also catch me on social media, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at Cooking and Grilling with Carl. I also have a Facebook group on um, Facebook called Cooking and Grilling with Carl that you can join and you can post your recipes in there as well. So I'll catch you on the next video. God bless. Peace.